Welcome. I'm going to talk about running Docker containers on Cisco IOS XC SD-WAN routers. So why would you want to run Docker container on an SD-WAN router? Well, let's say you have a WAN with multiple paths and you want to make routing decision using custom software or script based on your unique business needs. This could be as simple as just tracking the availability of an IP address and making routing decisions based on the availability of that IP address, or it could be a much more complex algorithm that's not yet implemented by your SD-WAN software. As an example, I have created a demo that is running the not yet implemented tracking feature on, an SD, on a Cisco SD-WAN platform. The Dockerized Python script will uh, swap the Cisco SD-WAN configuration template uh, that will reroute direct internet access of a branch router over um, an available backup MPLS path. A couple of words about the test environment. I'm running everything on EVNG. The SD-WAN controllers are running the latest 21.1 code. The routers are running the latest 17.02 code. And really the algorithm and the Python script can be found on my GitHub page. Um, it's as simple as monitoring an IP address and swapping the template from a direct internet access template to a no direct internet access template. The Docker container used for this demo is based on Alpine Linux with the Python install to minimize the image size. Um, consists of the Python, the actual Python script Docker file. And uh, once you have that, you can uh, create a tar file that's going to be copied over to the um, SD-WAN router. Once the uh, tar file is on the SD-WAN router, you have to install it, um, then activate it and start uh, the Docker container. So that's the process of uh, getting the uh, Docker container installed, pretty much uh, just installing the tar file, then activate the um, SD-WAN container, which is right now, it's just really called SD-WAN. Right now it's being deployed. Once the deployment completes, then um, we can start um, the actual program with using app hosting, start app ID SD-WAN. Once the Docker container is started, you can check show app hosting detail, the um, resource allocation, make sure that the, the Docker container is actually running and running the correct image. Now after this, you can actually open up and um, log into the Linux shell. And this is just a regular Linux shell and that allows you to run pretty much any application you want. Now with my container, I haven't started the uh, Python application in auto start just so that I could show you that that's just a regular Linux shell and then I have my Python script here and pretty much you can start run you can start running this and uh, start monitoring a host and swap the template with template up template down so that's what I'm going to do just start this Python application and um, right now the monitored IP address is up, and as it sh it shows that um, the already the correct template is attached, and it keeps monitoring the host in every ten seconds. Now on on the diagram here, it if the link between the C edge one and the ISP router goes down, I'm going to swap the um, the template on C edge one and force the traffic towards the MPLS network. If the monitored IP address goes down, the script will detach the router from branches C edge one and reattaches to branches C edge one, no DIA forcing the traffic towards the MPLS network. So let's create a network change by shutting down my simulated ISP routers ethernet zero one interface Let's log in to the router and um, issue the shutdown command on the interface. This should make the script realize the, um, the change and will swap the C edge one's template to no DIA. Let's issue the shutdown command. Okay, the interface just shut down. 
and the script just noticed that the interface went down and it pushed out the um, branches C edge no di template using a rest api call if we go back and see uh, what task is running there's a push feature template configuration running right now that is pushing out uh, the no di template using vmanage just template successfully attached to device and if we list the um, active templates we see that the no di template is has a device attached and the regular has none I want to mention that in order to run Docker containers on an SD-WAN router, you need to utilize the CLI add-on template feature, which is only available from version 20.1.1. Obviously, Cisco supports Docker containers. I am not sure at the time of recording the level of support Cisco would provide when you do custom scripts using Docker containers, so just keep that in mind. There are plenty of examples on Cisco's DevNet site if you want to write Python scripts for Cisco SD-WAN. However, from version 19.2, you need to request an extra security token. Otherwise, your requests are going to be rejected. So please keep that in mind. I'll highlight it right on the screen. Otherwise, hopefully this was useful. Please leave me a comment. And thank you for watching this video.